In this video we continue to react to a frankly unbelievable talk show, I will put a link in the description below, to part 1 for your further enjoyment. If you watched part 1 you probably recall that the host of this talk show promised us a report on uh, what was referred to as Russophobic landing forces in the Netherlands. So let's just see what they actually meant by this. I'd like to remind you that this term refers to military. Okay, so I'm five minutes in and it's become abundantly clear that that's not the way they use the term because they use it to refer to a group of volunteers who cycled to Amsterdam to campaign in favor of the association agreement. You know, it all kind of reminds me of this Kelvin and Hobbes cartoon. Hey dad, know what I figured out? The meaning f of words isn't a fixed thing, any word can mean anything. I'll be inventing new definitions for common words, so we'll be unable to communicate. Okay, so you people said two things. You said this group was Russophobic and that it was a landing force. Well, it's obvious it wasn't a landing force, yeah? So, um, I'll give you a generous chance to redeem yourself, at least by a fraction. You can gain back 50% of your dignity by proving the other half of your claim true, alright? All you have to do to convince me that you're at least 50% honest is to demonstrate that this group which traveled to Amsterdam was indeed Russophobic and that you're not just saying so to discredit them in the eyes of your audience and push your own political agenda. I mean, surely you can't prove that to me. Can't you? Can't you? Seriously though, um, let's hear what they have to say. Давайте, коль скоро это событие позитивного характера, и эти люди не считают себя русофобами, я правильно понимаю, и, наверное, не оправдывают все то, что произошло в Одессе. Давайте посмотрим небольшой диалог с теми. Да, нету нету русофобских настроений. Давайте посмотрим. А вы специально из Украины приехали? А зачем вы мне тычете в лицо? Это микрофон. Мне не надо тыкать лицо ваш микрофон. Я русским каналам интервью не даю. Тем более телеканалу Россия. Почему? Лжецам, лжецам, которые на весь мир врут. Свою пропаганду разносят, как тараканы разлазятся по всему миру. Я интервью не даю. Кто как тараканы? Жур на шлюшки. Россия и все остальные. Вот они, эти позитивные люди, которые планируют стать европейцами. Не, ну, в общем-то, то, что... What? What? Now, apparently, if you treat Russian media outlets with contempt because you think they are dishonest, which they are, but that's beside the point, then you are Russophobic, then you hate the Russian nation, its ethnicity, its culture. This is just a whole new level of idiocy. That round of applause from the audience, oh my goodness. Are they really that stupid? I mean, why do they think she despises the Russian media so? Because it has to do with the Russian ethnicity, because it's run by ethnic Russians? No, of course not. She even stated her reasons for feeling contempt toward certain Russian media outlets. And that reason is because she thinks they are dishonest. Uh, uh, <sighs> this is not Russophobic, it's a perfectly natural reaction when you believe you are faced with the media that uh, secures the power of a criminal regime. You have failed. You have botched your chance to redeem yourselves. You are now certified 100% lying bastards. Congratulations.